Hello everybody, it is KingCake57 or KC57 and welcome to my video on my new standardized Minecraft benchmark. Yeah, so this idea actually came when I was doing the Optifine mod review and I needed to benchmark the performance claims that this mod had. Um, if you want to go check that out, you can go check that out. It'll be in the top right hand corner. But anyway, moving on, we have basically this. I got this as inspiration because I was looking around actually for a benchmark for that video that I could use a standardized one, and I couldn't find one. So I decided to basically just create my own, and this is what I have come up with. So basically what this is, is this is just a massive lag eater, or just a lag creation zone. So we are actually in an amplified world, and as you can see, we have beacons, four beacons in four corners with rainbows on them hopefully create lag. They all have swiftness, swiftness 2, that'll hopefully help uh, to increase your field of view. So this is a basically a worst case scenario benchmark for the worst case scenario in single player. So let's start at the bottom. We have all of these right here, these pieces of glowstone. They are shining light, that'll hopefully create lag. They are definitely shining light through this massive glass wall full of different colored stained glasses and as well as water. That'll hopefully give a lot of calculations to the GPU so that it can stress that out a whole bunch. Um, inside, we have this, which is a whole bunch of pistons going around. We have a whole bunch of dispensers going around. We have lava going everywhere. And I also have more dispensers right here, as well as more dispensers right here. And then moving in, we have a whole bunch of hoppers that are not covered, as that does sometimes create lag. In them are diamonds going around, so it's going to have to be checking for things as it goes along. And then around that we have probably the most lag creating thing, which is the fire. We have fire going all around in a checkerboard pattern. This creates a lot of particles, a lot of animations that have to be drawn, hopefully stressing out things. In the middle, um, you're, hopefully the blaze will be in there. When you download it, they have just despawned, so don't go too far away. But basically there's five blaze going around in minecarts, and they create a whole bunch of lag because they have a lot of particles, they have a lot of movement, they have a lot of complex structure for the game. That hopefully creates a lot of lag. We have them going around a basically just a track with these lamps, and they are lighting up as they go across them, so this will hopefully again create a whole bunch of lag. We have this clock down below, which is running as you can see, and that is show and that is uh, setting off these dispensers. In the middle of these dispensers, we have more fire. And then above that, we actually have some prismarine with a whole bunch of torches on them, hopefully to create lag. And on top of the prismarine, we have armor stands full of what well, that was supposed to be Steve heads. And then we have a whole bunch of chainmail armor. This is all to create a whole bunch of lag. And this definitely does cripple a lot of different systems. Um, this is a very hard thing to actually render, and it's probably the worst case scenario that you will ever come across. So I think this is a very good benchmark for Minecraft. Anyway, so how you benchmark it is you will stand here, as the sign says, and you'll basically look right about there, so so you can load in everything. And this, what you will do is you'll use whatever program you want to benchmark Minecraft. I'm using Fraps, as you can see in the top right hand corner. I will leave a link in the video description if you want to go download that. It's basically just an FPS counter, pretty cool. Uh, another thing you could do if you don't want to go download anything is just press F3. There you go. And as you can see here, we have the frame rate right there. And you can basically adjust settings here, go into the settings, you know, change everything you want, go back into here, and see how they perform. Uh, this is a very good test, as it allows you to see <clears throat> what the worst case scenario you will ever run into, um, probably playing Minecraft, other than if you're just a complete redstone, like, snob, and you just create a whole bunch of redstone stuff. But I hope that this is pretty sufficient. So yeah, this has basically just been my show off of my Minecraft benchmark that I'll be using from now on in all performance metrics. So if you see a single player performance graph, it's using this, where I basically sit in this whole benchmark for about five minutes, average the FPS, and that's what you get. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you wanna go download this, it'll be in the link in the video description, as well as the Fraps um, program, which is allows me to do this, it's that. And so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.